What's up guys, this is Sean and today we are in Radia Residence, Bukit Jelutong. Let's go! So before we start, Bukit Jalutong is located in Shah Alam. Shah Alam, in fact, is the capital of Selangor. It's located right in between Gatri Highway and NKVE, this radial residence, right, seems to be one of the higher density ones in a area full of landed properties. Lah. So we have all the luxurious bungalows, ah, the golf courses, ah, and this used to be the, those rare atas. So today we have David from Cozy Homes going to bring me through. Let's go. Okay, first of all, I like the corridor. Lah. So if you look at the corridor, it's those that has two air wells, if you can see. These are the air wells, and there's two sides to it. Plus, it's a very low height condo, right? That's why the daylight and sunlight can actually penetrate through right to the bottom. If you look at the windows placement, right? It's a little bit more artistic. If you look at the handrails, right? You can see there's a pattern. It's because they actually bend it. Yeah, they actually bend the handrail. So, kind of cool. So David even prepared the layout for us. So you can see this is the unit type that we are in now. It's how many? Uh, eight, seven, nine square feet, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. So it's rather direct, lah. Okay. Once you come into the unit, right, you first will be greeted by the dining and living. And uh, this is a fully furnished unit. Just tone down a little bit on your expectation. Lah. This unit is actually going for 610 and above. For renting wise, this unit will be going out for 2008 in this condition. Lah. So if it's a normal condition, it's like maybe 2003, 2004 ish. And uh, let's look beyond the the designs are okay. What I don't like is actually the columns like you see columns like this in the unit. So if the designer didn't dress it up right, this would look rather weird. And you check out this column in the unit. This is a column. For such a low density, right? Do you really need such a column or not? You see and this beam. Okay? Because of this beam, this results in a very low ceiling height, you see? That's why they need to plaster ceiling this part. And this also results in the bedrooms. So this hmm, structural designer. Okay, next to the living room, you will get a very small balcony. Then that's your aircon latch already. And this is your view. So those are the bungalows that you can see, right? Awesome. Let's head on to the master bedroom. Okay, so after putting in the queen size bed, you will still have corridor space. This one is still very wide, right? Then, uh, again, this is not an advertisement for the makeover, guys. So as the same problem, the structure, if you look at the beam, it's so thick. That's something I don't understand. But anyway, let's check out the master bathroom. So we have Johnson Swiss Basin. Johnson Swiss. Done. And... Ooh, my favorite rain shower. What I like about this bathroom, right, is it even give you this extra space as they could easily just park this WC to this wall, right? Then they actually save more space. But the fact that they do this, not bad, I like. Okay, opposite the master bedroom will be the smaller bathroom. But there will be a guest toilet first. The same treatment, Johnson Swiss, Johnson Swiss, again rain shower. And I like all toilets are actually natural ventilated. So there's two types. One is mechanical ventilated, meaning like they put the air suction thingy. Then this one is the window. Okay? So again, same treatment. They give you this. Then we have the smaller bedroom. You can see? Uh, next to the smaller bedroom will be the kitchen. I call it pantry. <laughs> okay, so there will be four cookers, franker, 
fridge and washing machine provided. I wish that there's just a yard to actually accommodate this washing machine. Uh, because we can just maybe just cut out a space or whatsoever. Hey guys, so as always, we will go and see the refuse chamber. Okay, uh, it's located in this very tight corridor. So this will be your refuse chamber. Okay, be some Again, there's no ventilation and there's only one floor track. Imagine if the refuse room is full, right? And uh, this will be a passage to. So I think that's all for this unit layout. Lah. It's very direct because 897, 2 bedroom, 2 bathroom. It's just a very very direct uh, layout. Uh, but let's head on to the 4 acres facility deck. Let's go. Whoa. This is a jacuzzi deck. Okay, I think it's under maintenance. Lah. Okay, so and we are now in the facility deck. Once again, unlike those condo, right, these development, right, has actually the benefit of being long. That's why the facility deck, right, the developer actually decided to make it very horizontal. Oh, the sun just came out. And these are the things that you get. Okay, so you can see Japanese cup. Then you have this full landscape. Basically, you just run your heart out, you know, because with this kind of setting, right, it's just super long. Not only that, you even have empty spaces like this. Wow! Oh yeah, did I mention that this is a mixed development? Meaning like, they have retails on the bottom, right? They also have office blocks at each corner. The orange one, as you can see. On the left and on the right, that's the orange one, okay? So both of those are offices. And you can have Hero. Hero shop. It's already opening, grocery, and that's all your complex, your malls, and other residents. They also have a few shop blocks again. They also have garden units. Say so you see the garden unit actually lower than the facility deck, right? And they use this landscape to actually cover it. Wow, I like. Just a wonderland for kids. Uh. So it's quite clear that this is actually designed for families or younger families. Uh. So if you have a kid or two, right, this is I think the space for you. So just to illustrate how big the park is, right? They actually divided the park into three zones. Park one, two, and three. So just in case you are lost in the park, they even indicate where you are in the park. Uh. If you can see gardens, right, it's really just on steroids. Uh. Okay, three things I really like. Number one is definitely the architecture. La. Because it's very rare that you actually see a project right, that is actually horizontal. Right? Because of the height restriction, this actually created a lot of interesting space, especially the scale of the facility deck. Number two is actually if your business and if your main home turf is actually Shah Alam, right? I used to stay in Shah Alam, so it's actually very convenient where you have all your facilities is around. So you have your malls, your stadium, your government building offices, your everything is just there. And in between Gatri and NKVE, and if you go a little bit further, then you have the LDP already. So it's actually connected. Third of all would be the surrounding in a micro scale where you get to see a lot of greens even outside the development and inside the development because of the span of their facility deck right the developer chose an approach which actually use up less maintenance fees which is landscape also they put up a lot of different different garden like the orchid garden or whatever or garden lah. then three things i don't like is number one the lack of maintenance lah. because of this horizontal type of setting there will be a lot of lobbies Therefore, a lot of checkpoints for security to take care. Therefore, a lot of duplication in terms of treatments. 
let's say the fountains right some fountains function some do not so you also see like jacuzzis right the jacuzzis are not working some are even empty some are filled up right so because of this kind of long span type of setting you have a lot of this cost to cover number two will actually be the structural design since it's such a short building right structural design need not to be that massive but if you look into the unit right the unit layout the layout is okay from plan but if you look in 3d right it's all structural there's beams and columns and beams and columns everywhere to the extent where it actually eats up to your square feet you know you will actually see like the drop in ceiling height in your room the drop in ceiling height before you enter to the toilet even when you go into the unit you are welcomed by a beam Third of all, because Shah Alam is one of the capital and there's a restrictions for license for pubs and nightlife and this thing like that, that's why the retails here seems to suffer. Unlike those in KL or PJ, right? Nightlife can be a very huge revenue business, right? Therefore, it actually drives a lot of uh, activity in terms of commercial. But then you can see that the commercial area here seems to suffer. And uh, you can see a lot of empty lands because there's no drive in demand enough for the developers to actually develop further phases. So that's my take. I think this location will be very ideal for government agencies around and also those who work in the airport and things like that. This would be a very nice escape like, because if you are not a fan of very effective living, right? Effective meaning smaller layout, like all these four acres in terms of facility is jam-packed into a floor plate right if you really like your kids to actually be able to cycle through these lanes or to run around like mad to actually get lost in a facility deck then this might be your choice so because it's very rare to find an apartment that is actually horizontally designed i think that's all for this episode if you really like this video like it share it and even subscribe for more information shout out to david from cozy homes if you want anything just contact him below until next time this is sean tan oh so shiny this is sean tan ciao wow.